Hey guys, I am Brianna. In this video, I am going to introduce you to the movie The Perfect Date. This movie details the story of a high school student named Brooks Radigan who creates an app to offer his services as a fake date to make money in order to prepare for his college life. And throughout the process, he has developed his feelings for his first customer, whose name is Celia Lieberman. And gradually throughout the entire story, their relationship has been gradually developed and later on um, finally becoming boyfriend and girlfriend at a couple. Like this is like the storyline is kind of cliche as this very typical high school romantic comedy story, but I still liked it very much. So about this movie, I have several, several feelings and thoughts. The first one is the fact that there is the huge gap between the wealthy people, the wealthy students, and the less wealthy, the poorer. Because in this um, movie, Brooks Radigan is like coming from this not very um, rich and wealthy neighborhood, whereas his most of his customers are from the wealthy neighborhood. As a result, like their living conditions, their situations, and their educational opportunities are vastly different because um, since Brooks is constantly serving as this fake date or fake companion to school dance balls, to school balls, to school events, to spring flings and stuff like that, it really showcases how in the more elite side of the town, people are enjoying a better lifestyle and their schools, their private schools that they go to generally, generally have like this more elegant way of designing the balls, designing different kinds of events. And as mentioned by Brooks himself, he really thinks there are like, there are simply two too many of the boss of these formal dances that the school on the, in this very privileged region is offering. Besides that, there's also a also difference of getting into college since um, Brooks himself is troubled by the fact that his family is unable to provide him with enough funding for him to really like su successfully go to Yale University. But that doesn't seem to be a problem for these wealthy kids as they couldn't they couldn't even comprehend the notion of not being of saving money to go to college because in their in their perspectives college is just something that has to be taken for granted and they, they even have like very detailed plans like uh, what Sh Shelby Pace mentioned that even though she said that she didn't know what her future would be like she clearly laid out this path where she wanted to go to Columbia for undergraduate study and then go to Harvard Law School and then open up this financial company and stuff whereas for Brooks when he says I don't I really don't know what I'm gonna do in future he really means it he doesn't have a plan any plan at all this really shows like this huge gap between the wealthy and the poor in terms of their chances of getting into elite universities and colleges and that like mainly has to do with the entire family tie the family heritage in this in this particular school there's also the point where um like each family each person has their own struggles that are not shown to outsiders because even though like there are the rich kids and there are the poorer kids everybody still has their own problem at school Brooks has this um, schoolmate that is constantly riding this very fancy car and it seems that his family has suddenly got rich or something. But later on, it was revealed that the reason his classmate was getting this very expensive and fancy car was due to the fact that her, his parents are having like marital issues and they were cheating on each other and because her mother's boyfriend or like her mother's affairs, her mother's uh, partner is one of the like the workers at this very large company um car company he was able to obtain this car as a present and a gift from from this like not honorable um affair so like even though people may appear to be shiny or like very proud everybody still has their own struggles and they may not always be willing to share it so that they put on this protective shield around them and appears to be uh, very um, elegant very proud and very like dismissive and stuff so yeah sometimes we see that certain people really are like displaying this um facade but inside that everybody um many of them are insecure and have certain problems so we really need to listen and try to like be friends and support each other instead of judging people at the first time we're at we're at like what what they are really like what they appear to be yeah finally i want to touch upon the idea that is like 
sort of the main focus of this entire film is the idea that Brooks throughout the story isn't always trying to like um, establish fake personalities, fake um, fake person styles in order to suit his customers' needs. And he 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 actually mentioned in a book that um the reason he is doing this, pretending to be some other people, is because he doesn't know who he is, he doesn't know what he wants to become. So he, he sort of wishes that throughout this process of being somebody else, he would gradually discover who he is and what exactly a person he would like to become. But um, throughout, to, towards the end, it really came out to be the fact that Brooks, being Brooks himself, is the best of himself. There's no need for him to try to be somebody else in order to gauge like what kind of person he wants to become because everybody is unique. And as um, Brooks' father mentioned, try to know what um, what we are right now, we, we can simply take the average of what we used to be and what we aspire to be in the future, and then that's what we are right now. So in that sense, just stop trying to become somebody else because we are the best of ourselves we know who we are and we should just insist and insist on being who we are and be proud of that and every person is unique so yeah that's an important lesson i gained from this entire movie so overall you know as a fan of all of these high school romantic comedy series and tv shows and movies i really enjoy this film it made me think a lot and i really liked this idea of high school romance and it's just very relatable you know as a high school student myself so yeah i would pretty recommend this book now this movie to you and good luck watching it it is really fascinating thank you bye